Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a temporary Gmail account and password. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so what we first want to do is head on over to mail.google.com and sign into your account. Now, once we've signed into our account, we want to go ahead and click onto the add account option here. So click on your user profile, click on add account. Now, it's going to say sign in. On the sign in page click on create account and then we can either use for personal for child or work or business so depending what you're using it for so for this demonstration for personal use so now basically what we want to do is just put in a first name surname optional so yeah just put in a first name basically and click next put in your basic information click next now from here go ahead and choose a username so basically what we're trying to do here is just make a throwaway gmail account so go ahead and put in a new username for that gmail account then click next and then create a password and confirm and obviously write down that password you can always click on show password when you write down that when you put in your password choose a strong password so it needs to be at least 12 characters and use short passphrases and a mix of upper lowercase numbers and punctuation now from here click on to next i'm not going to do this because i don't want another google account then complete any verification steps accept Google's terms of service and privacy options and finish setup. Now, the trick here is to use the account for whatever temporary purpose you want it for. When you're done, you can sign into new account and delete it if you like. So now I'll show you how that looks. I'm gonna go back over to my Google account. So I'm in Gmail, then we wanna go ahead and click on manage your Google account. Now from here, we wanna go ahead and click on data and privacy tab. Now from here, scroll all the way to the bottom and then under more options, we want to go ahead and click on delete your Google account, delete your entire account and data. So after you've finished with that temporary email, you want to go ahead and sign in, click next, next, next. And then after deletion, Google may keep backup copies for a time. So follow the instructions for a permanent removal.